The first part of layers editing I want to tackle is dropping and trimming your layers. Okay, we need some footage here. So I will right click on the project panel. And of course, you know, you go to import, file, and let's select these two images and three videos. That will do. I click import. Cool. I'll create a new composition now, which is 50 second long. 1280 by 720 will do. To have 50 seconds, guys, you can press 5. So that's 5 frames. This is 2 seconds because we are in base 25. Notice I'm looking over here. Okay. So 500 will be 5 seconds and 5000 will be 50 seconds. And here you are. Okay. The first method we learned to drop footage in the composition is just to select it. Click and drag and drop it inside the comp. Cool. You can also click on a footage and come to the composition in the timeline now and decide that you want to drop it just over here. Now there is a, an interesting method that you can use. Let's take the time indicator to 25 seconds, for example. Okay, let's go to 25 precisely. If you click and drag your footage, okay, and you come on this side, you can decide where to drop it. You notice how you have another time indicator moving on. So you have the real time indicator and another head playing around or the playhead. And you notice the time on the left now indicating where the new playhead is. Okay, so if I want to drop my video, for example, at 30 seconds, I can come over here and it's pretty hard to get it at 30 seconds. The best way is to set your time indicator, come nearby and press shift. Okay, notice how they merge and you release. Here you are, the in point of the layer is exactly at 25 seconds the way you would like. Now you can click and drag and adjust it anywhere you want if 25 seconds is not what you want. Let's look at this layer here. Let's take this layer. Let's move the other one here. You notice that on the left and right, you have two black rectangles. This means that this footage, the video itself, starts just at this in point. And before this in point, before the black triangle, there is no footage. There is no frames for the video. And actually, the layer starts here. On the out point, that is O, you will notice also you have the black triangle. And it means because there is the black triangle, there is no footage after that. Cool. But as you notice the mouse pointer here, if I come to the beginning or to the in point, it changes into a double arrow. You can click and drag and trim your layer. Hopefully you know your video very well and you know what you are trimming. Okay. Then on the out point, you can do the same. You can click and drag. Now notice the in point, and the out point of the layer have changed. Why? Because now you're working with the layer over here. You're not working with the footage. This is one way to trim the layers. I'll show you another way that you already see. Let's take a whole footage, for example, and create a new composition. Let's say you want to trim everything from one second to the beginning of the composition, not to the beginning where you see, to the beginning of the composition. So your zoomed in is gonna still trim to the beginning of the composition, okay? There is a very simple shortcut that you have seen already. It's Alt or Option on the Mac and left square bracket. Here you are. So it trims from the time indicator to the beginning of the comp. Cool. There is another shortcut that you might already know is Alt, right square bracket. We already said that. That will trim from the time indicator to the end of the composition, plus or minus one frame. You notice there is a frame here that is left over. Notice the same techniques can work for a triangle, for example, or even for text, if you like. Okay. You notice that text and shape layers are created for the length of the composition. You can still come over here. This is the in point. You can press I and you know it's the in point of this shape layer. If you haven't moved it, if you press I, you are in trouble. I will undo the move. Okay. Then you can also click when it's double arrow at the in point and just trim it. Or if you like, you can use the Alt or Option on the Mac and left square bracket. And of course, you can do the same for the end, provided you haven't moved the layer beyond the end of the composition or beyond the beginning of the composition. Okay, guys, we will not be able to see the in point. And here, of course, you can apply Alt or Option on the Mac and right square bracket. Here you are. You have trimmed the layer, the selected one. And of course, if you had selected more layers, it would have trimmed the same. So thank you very much for listening and I will see you in the next lecture.